Hello, so we are back and this time we have a job from a local repair shop. It's a nice i3 agent uh, laptop. The laptop is plugged in, it's charging, it's taking 700 milliamps. Pressing the power button. The laptop is coming on, the current is going up, but we have some flashing on the caps lock. Yeah, so check there. One, two, three. Then two shorts. Yeah, you can see. One, two, three three and then two short lights now according with the with the hp website they have uh, error codes so we have uh, three red link blind blinks yeah three red red or white is same thing and two shorts does mean a memory memory problem okay that's what he's saying this condition indicates a potential memory failures yeah uh, the computer shop which sent the laptop here, they think it's a BIOS problem. Yeah, I believe BIOS need something. Yeah, so let's open. I didn't open, so I don't know what is inside. But well, let's try and open and try to figure it out. Do we have onboard RAM? That's a good question. The RAM is good or faulty. Okay, so we open the laptop and we don't have RAM. We don't have RAM at all because probably it's on board on the other side of the board. So this just became our most common fault. The fact the RAM is on board and uh, uh, is getting crack solders. Let's try RAM. So we plug the RAM and I want to see the error codes. Same error codes even with RAM memory. You can see we are getting same error codes. Let's check first the RAM voltage. Let's see if we have any RAM voltage. We do have check on the screen 1.2 volts. Now, what is the solution? Well, the solution is quite simple. Risky, but simple. Yeah. So what I'm going to do. Use that program and disable the onboard RAM. No, let's take the board out and check the RAM on the other side of the board. Let's see the HP. They are doing the same thing like Lenovo. Huh? using that black glue to solder the um, to stick the chips the memory chips on the board which is stupid let me take the board out oh wait we have a problem here we know we don't have onboard ram oh lol Maybe it's here under the SSD. Let's take the SSD out. It's not. No, that's crazy. We don't have on Boram. So what's the problem with this board? We have some memory uh, errors there. The fee can be the BIOS, can be the customer, can be right. The computer shop can be right. Why here we have some liquid damage? Huh? So what can be the problem then? So we don't have any onboard RAM on this board. Yeah. 
we tried with the RAM memory and we are getting same error code like uh, resetting the RAM yeah we're gonna try to clean the RAM slot but do you really think that it will fix the problem it can be a bias problem we do have a bias chip here we can uh, try to do a bias so we are like uh, nearly one hour later and I dig in a little bit. Yeah, also I try any bias. It's not a bias. And uh, also I check with the schematic whatever can be checked on the motherboard. But then I search on Google about the, based on the C, on the motherboard. Uh, wait, the laptop is on. Okay, based on the motherboard uh, uh, model number yeah? and uh, so as you search on Google you will see people actually they had this problem with this laptop so one more time just to recap pressing the power button and the caps lock is flashing indicate a RAM memory issue uh, now if I power off the laptop yeah and I hold the socket down <laughs> you will be surprised <laughs> I mean, the fault is, it's, you know, it's simple. Oh, it's still flashing. Oh, sorry, still flashing. Okay, I got it wrong. Let me press on this corner, yeah? So pressing the power button. And it's not flashing anymore. Yeah, the fault is uh, stupid simple. And it's a socket issue. But you will not expect, I mean, you always will think uh, is something more complicated when the fault actually is very simple. Let's wait because we reset the BIOS. Here yeah, we unplug the power. But the caps lock is not flashing anymore. Let's wait. And we have picture on the screen. Yeah, the picture just disappear and we have those things on the screen. But basically, it's a socket problem. So let me take out the board and uh, let's resolder this socket. Yeah, so this one is gone. You can see it's moving. This one is gone, it's moving. And yeah, that's all. It's enough to have like two pins. Yeah. So the problem are those two pins. Let's solder them quickly. Now let's test. Uh, using a little bit of rosin. Rosin is good. Perfect. Yeah, so we solder the we solder the pins. So apart from those Yeah, this one. This one is moving, you can see it. Perfect. And on the other side,
yeah otherwise it's fine so the problem with the port it's uh, at the ed edges let's clean it and let's test it And plug the charger. So the charger is plugged in. Pressing the power button. And the caps lock is not flashing anymore, you can see. Let's wait because we reset the BIOS. And we have picture, you can see. Pressing the RAM memory. Pressing the RAM memory. Nothing happened. So it's solid. Pressing the enter button. The computer is still responding. So I will call this a fix. Okay. So next time when you have uh, this kind of issue, just be sure you push the RAM slot down. Uh, just to be sure, you know, it's not, uh, it's not a socket issue, actually. Okay, so I'll stop this video. And uh, try to don't go that far. I mean, <laughs> I did try. I did try one BIOS. I did check with the schematic. I did spend some time on this one. And actually, the fault was... You know, stupid simple. So see you on the next one. Bye.